if you look just at the Quran, you will get the indication that you can have sexual intercourse with a five-year-old. No. The reason why it's haram to have sexual intercourse with a five-year-old is not found in the Quran at all. If you just read the Quran, it is halal. It would just it would be halal to have sexual intercourse with a five-year-old. Chapter sixty-five, verse four. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us who you can divorce and who you cannot divorce. And then he says, Wallahi lam yahidn. Wallahi lam yahidn. And the ones who had never been pubescent before. And by the way, this is very important, yeah? I want all Muslims to be aware of this. The reason why we don't have sexual intercourse with five year olds and six year olds and seven year olds or whatever is not because of puberty. Wait a minute, what did you say? It's not because of puberty because that verse in the Quran actually says Lam Yahidn. They never had puberty before. You can't go around that. The Quran doesn't say, doesn't say anywhere in the Quran that the woman has to be pubescent. I dare you to find one verse in the Quran where it says you're not allowed to marry someone based on harm or you're not allowed to have sexual intercourse based on harm or you're not allowed to marry someone based on puberty. Uh, Get me one verse in the Quran which says the woman has to be pubescent. No. You know in the Quran no. it says, no. It says you're not allowed to marry your mum. It says you're not allowed to marry your sister, your auntie. Where does it say you're not allowed to marry a, a prepubescent? I'm looking for one verse that you, you can say, you pinpoint it and say this is where it says prepubescent marriage or whatever is not allowed. So if you're Quran alone, you're still towards pedophilia, a severe type of pedophilia, a wife abuse, a severe type of wife abuse, 